Brilliant. Um, let me tell you something first, really quick. The Nikon R1C1 uses a remote transmitter to two tiny little speed lights that sit on a ring. And that unit's called the R1C1. It's $700, and it has a lot of cheap plastic parts. $700, tons of parts. This took me one hour to make. You can actually search this on eBay. You're like, well, what is it? First, let me show you what it is. It's called a bifurcated fiber optic. This is also used for microscope uh, photography and just viewing. I just have a, a Surefire flashlight on this one end, and it goes to two paddles. These paddles are smaller, but it's the same principle. And the fiber optics are bifurcated, just split, right? Let me turn off my Surefire here one end you can see the fiber optics right there you can even see the line where it goes to one paddle versus another paddle anyway i just used two pieces of actually one long piece which was four dollars from a hardware store of aluminum you just bend it a couple times and it breaks and i just made a couple l brackets right here and i uh, used an adapter ring or you could use an adapted lens hood it just screws right into the 80 millimeter macro that i have here Use industrial Velcro to attach these. Eh? This whole thing actually disassembles in less than 60 seconds. This, by the way, this bifurcated piece is uh, made in Switzerland. Now, I got this off of eBay for $30. There's a bunch of them on there. All you just type in bifurcated fiber optic, okay? Which just means split, you know, two-headed uh, fiber optic illuminator. So I said these are just used for microscope. Uh, viewing and microscope photography and let me actually hit the test button over here if you can actually see it here we go now if we actually just count this one piece of fiber optic we have one part here which basically unless you totally bend these in two you're never going to break they'll last forever um, they've been making these now for 40 some plus years and they're used all over the damn place. Used um, uh, scientific surplus on eBay. What I did is I used a double strap. The easiest way to attach these, I actually drilled a hole, not into the speed light, the speed light's not touched. This is a Fujifilm speed light. The diffuser cap, you know, the milky diffuser cap, I just drilled a hole in the center to fit this piece right here. And I actually cover this with Velcro. And then I used a cross strap like this. And then underneath that, there's another cross strap which attaches to the other side. So it's identical to this on the other side. That way this is completely held in place. And Nikon's R1C1 unit is $700. Tons of plastic parts, easy to break. There's nothing here. It's directly attached. Not only that, it's extremely high precision. This is made in Switzerland. There's nothing to break here. An industrial Velcro, two aluminum brackets. I actually attached, um, I've got some uh, industrial Velcro on this ring adapter, which actually just has a flange on it. It just screws right into the lens. You could get these whatever filter size you need. Ingenious, I could actually move these around or I could bend the brackets. However, this is the perfect angle so that they intersect. The illumination intersects. Light spreads all over the place. But they intersect about uh, six inches in front of the uh, the lens but I mean you could use this for portraiture you could is I'm, I built this for macro photography this is my now my absolute favorite so uh, you listening Fujifilm this is my <laughs> this is my favorite macro lens of all time and uh, just hit the test button down here you can see where the lights pouring out and where it's hitting pretty simple huh like I said, that's all it is. It's bifurcated fiber optic. That's what you type on eBay. I don't have the flashlight directly in line. There we go. There we go. Like that. I just cut one side of the paddle with industrial Velcro. You can get it at any hardware store. That's what I have on. These heads are smaller, but this is the exact same thing as this. It's just a different manufacturer. Brilliant. absolutely frigging lutely brilliant. Who's the lord of DIY light mods? I am. So this is $650 cheaper than the Nikon R1C1. Okay, $650. It's basically indestructible. It's more efficient. Doesn't require battery. Well, I mean, the Speedlight has batteries. 
Um, this, a lot of these are made in Switzerland. I forget the name of the company, but this is Swiss. This bifurcated cable is Swiss made. De Schweiz, jawohl. So, yeah, bracket, piece, five bucks, an hour's worth of labor. Yeah, made in Switzerland and only 50 bucks total. Yeah, essentially, let's say 45 bucks, 50 bucks. Um, brilliant. You could shoot this like you can the speed light. You could shoot it in TTL, manual, however you want. I mean, it doesn't make any difference that the cable's coming out of here. TTL means through the lens, so... If I shoot in all manual mode, which is how I do most speed light photography, and uh, set my uh, speed light um, to uh, TTL, then it works perfectly. Okay. If you like this video, you always click the link below. Drop a buck or two. My ideas are brilliant on DIY light mods. This is brilliant. You can't deny it. Okay? It, it just is. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you later, girlfriend. Fuji! <laughs>